Hey guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I, my name is Danica McKellar and you might follow me already, but if you don't, I'm an actress and I write math books and you might know me from The Wonder Years or my Hallmark Channel movies or many other things I've been doing for like 30 years. And also every Monday I try to hang out with you guys to talk about some things that might make our weeks better, it might motivate us to be like happier individuals basically. So hi you guys. So today um, I thought I'd talk about holiday cheer and how when we're not really feeling like it, like maybe fake it till you make it works. First of all, yes, I do have an apron on and that's actually something that I'm gonna talk about a little bit. Hi everyone, so tell me, um, this is not a Hallmark movie right now despite the fact that I am wearing a very Christmassy apron. <laughs> It's my pleasure, Jiggy. Thank you for being with us. And I think that's Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Um, who else? So I'm on Facebook and Periscope and uh, Instagram all at the same time because I guess I'm an overachiever. <laughs> You're in a Hallmark movie trance? Thank you. You finished your Christmas shopping. Good job. You know, I'm almost done. I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. I can't. I don't think I've ever been done this early before. This is amazing. So where are you guys uh, uh, watching from? Mexico, nice. Missouri, awesome. It is kind of, low. well, it's almost nine o'clock for me, so it's kind of late. I just try to like fit it in if I can, even if it's not looking good, I try to fit it in when I can on Mondays. New York, Chicago, Austin, Texas. Massapequa, New York, I don't know how to say that, sorry. Ireland, oh, that's awesome. New York, India, Texas, Oregon. Syracuse, very cool. Charleston, Guam, New Jersey, the Bay Area, Michigan, Nashville, a secret location. I won't tell anyone. I definitely won't tell Darth, especially Old Mantras. I have these two fans who are so funny. They have like their own relationship that I'm watching develop. Thank you, Virgil. That's very respectful. I appreciate it. Yes, Ruth, I did play Winnie Cooper on The Wonder Years and that was so long ago, but apparently I look similar enough that I still get recognized all the time for it and I take that as a compliment, so. So you guys, um, how are you all feeling about the holidays? Are you feeling good about the holidays? Are you excited? Are you like, I wanna be Christmassy, but I just don't know how. <laughs> you love the Christmas movie I did with Dan Laurie. It hasn't aired yet, but thank you. It will air the movie. So the Christmas movie I did with Dan Laurier, who plays the dad in the Wonder Years, played the dad in the Wonder Years. He plays my dad in this movie. It's called Christmas at Grand Valley. It airs on uh, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. That's the second Hallmark channel. There are two Hallmark channels. Uh, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It airs on December 22nd um, at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central, and I'll be live tweeting. So I hope I get to see you guys there. Thank you so much. If you're too tired to care until the day of the holidays, <laughs> I get that. I totally do. And it can be a hard time of the year for a lot of people, Derek. You're absolutely right and you're not alone. There are a lot of people who, their you know, family situations often aren't perfect and sometimes that can lead to um, sadness or just loneliness or, or anger, all sorts of things around the holiday. Uh, now, whether, so here's what I wanna say to you guys. And you're feeling fine about it? Well, that's good, Robert. Kind of sad, Bonnie? Yeah, it happens to a lot of people. And you know what, it's, it's normal to have all different kinds of feelings too. It can be up one day and down and Trying to teach your eight-year-old the true meaning of Christmas? That's lovely. Um, yeah, so, so, uh, oh, Lee, we'll try to get the Mystery Channel. I think you just, I think you can call your cable provider and they'll, you can add it on. I did that. Yes, it is an apron. <laughs> According to Hallmark movies, everything will work out. <laughs> it's true. I have not un unfollowed, I don't think I've unfollowed anybody recently. Thank you, McDonald, McDonny. So, um, so here's what I want to talk about. First of all, have you guys heard the term fake it till you make it? Give me a thumbs up and you, or you or like you hate it, then you know, you can give me a thumbs down. But in terms of fake it till you make it, have you heard this term? Does this resonate with you? Yes, you've heard it. Yes, you, yes, Brooklyn, Teresa. You feeling alone, Jay? Yeah, you're, well, you're not alone in feeling alone. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of feelings, a lot of things come up around the holidays. Yes, so do you, Dieter and Shanna, Jiggy, yes, MVG, Brooklyn, Tim, yeah. <laughs> Fake it till I make it, that's your life motto? <laughs> that's amazing. Yes, you have Willie, Allie, Shay, Daniel, Reed. 
yeah, Vavi, I'm not sure if that, I said that wrong, Craig. Yeah, so, um, so fake it till you make it. Now this works for me really well with things like exercise. So if I don't feel like going to the gym, I don't feel like going to an exercise class, you know, and I, and I just make myself go and I just pretend that I'm the kind of person who feels like working out, guess what? Pretty soon, I get into it. Have you ever tried that? Have you ever, um, has that ever worked for you with something physical like that, like exercise, something you just don't wanna, you don't wanna get up and go to an event or something like that and you just go anyway? And then, that's how you got your degree, Brooklyn? <laughs> You're not a very good faker? <laughs> Well, I do have some experience faking being that I'm an actress, but we all have that ability. We all do, right? It's been, it works really well. Well, I say the same thing goes for Christmas and for, or any, whatever holiday you celebrate and for getting into that holiday spirit and, 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 you know, it's so easy to get overwhelmed with all the shopping and all the obligations and all the family stuff and whatever's going on. So today I was like, you know what? And I was looking at my calendar and I've got such a busy schedule and we're going to be going out of town. And it's like, I want there to be Christmassy here at the house. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on the Christmas music. Just put it on, right? Just put on the Christmas. If I don't feel like listening to Christmas music, I'm gonna put it on anyway. And then, you know, um, if I weren't running around the house, I would have turned on Hallmark Channel. One of the two, they both have Christmas music movies playing nonstop. Um, I, I lit uh, a, a candle that smells like, um, uh, like cinnamon buns, which to me is Christmassy. You could do like pine if you wanted. And, and I put this apron on and I made Christmas cookies. Somebody here did um, peg that. They guessed that. I do like Andy Williams. You know who I really like though um, is um, uh, Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis and also Elvis. As crazy as that, as that sounds, I was raised on Elvis Christmas music and Johnny Mathis. That's my little guy on his uh, Christmas Star Wars PJs and he doesn't want to be on camera. Bye. See you in the future. It's almost bedtime. I need to go. <laughs> yeah, so so anyway, whatever it is, whatever Christmas music you grew up with or whatever Christmas music makes you happy, put it on. And that can, I mean, I do that when I try, when I need to work out and I don't feel like it. I'll just put on some really good music that makes me feel motivated and that can be enough. So there are things, these things we can do to trigger ourselves into where we want to be, what we want to be feeling. You're watching both of the channels, both of the Hallmark channels nonstop. That's Hallmark Channel and also Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. They're both awesome. Johnny Mathis ran track. I did not know that. Yes, Sand Vipper. I was Winnie on the Wonder Years. I guess I still am. I don't know. I do scope AB money. Wait, I think I've seen your name before. You know that I scope. Nat King Cole. I love Nat King Cole. Germany? Very cool. Crown. Yes, Crown for Christmas is the first Hallmark Channel movie that I did. Christmas movie and um, everybody loves that movie. I loved it too. I was a Cinderella story. Cinderella meets Sound of Music and we shot it out in Romania in these real castles and palaces and it was, everyone else had British accents. It was very fun. You're not faking it, just improvising. That works too. So yeah, so you do those things and whether you have kids or not, and but especially if you've got kids, we can create Christmas. I remember when I was little, you know, Christmas just seemed to happen and it was really the parents. I mean, it's a lot of work. Christmas is a lot of work. But even if you don't have kids, I feel like we can still be our own parents. If that We still get to be the parents. Does that make sense? We still get to create those things. And if you don't feel like it, you can fake it until you make it. You, 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 you fake it until... <laughs> is the Christmas spirit a big deal for you? Seems like seasonal brainwash. That is hilarious. Um, yes, it should be all year. Joy and giving to people should be all year. But the truth is... We need seasons to remind us to do things or we will get in ruts. That's why it's so nice to have different traditions for different parts of the year. If you have like a fall tradition of running through the leaves or Christmas tradition of making snowmen or whatever it is. And then in the summer, if you've got a tradition of going to the lake, these things, these rituals, humans, human beings need rituals. And I really feel like that's part of what's so great about Christmas is that it reminds us, oh, this is the time of year when we spend more time with family and when we make Christmas cookies and we put on fun aprons and we, we do things that make us happier than normal. Maybe we spend too much money on Christmas presents. So yes, traditions do help that. And yes, Jonathan, and one of the ways to get out of ruts is to do something new, do something different. And the seasons provide us with opportunities to remind us to do something different. That's 
seasonally appropriate, I guess. You put some pressure on yourself to make it so special for your daughter. You know what? Um, kids, it's the little things. You being happy is, you being happy, putting on some Christmas music and you being happy, to me, that is what your kids want. I mean, that's what your kids want. That's what they really want. They don't want the right present and the right thing and the right situation if you're stressed out and not really giving them your attention, right? Your mom has the Hallmark Channel on all the time. Well, I think that's a really great thing, Christopher. You should tell her I said, I approve. I approve. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, traditions, yes, they break up the monotony of life for sure. Um, you know, in terms of the movies for Hallmark, um, they, they will often send me a script or two and I'll look at them and we'll talk about what kind of movie I want to do that year for Christmas. And um, they're so great, though. I mean, I, I, I've had a great, good experience on every single movie that I've done for them. So you guys, so in conclusion, because I am, speaking of kids, I'm going to go and hang out with my little guy before bed here. Uh, by the way, we homeschool, so we don't have to get up as early as everyone else. I just don't know why I'm qualifying the fact that it's 9 o'clock and my child's not in bed yet. Um, but that's the case. We don't have to wake up early. But he's doing so great on fractions. Okay, I'm totally digressing now. <laughs> Money Lane. I'm not a math genius, but I, I do have a degree in mathematics. I love math. I write math books. And I homeschool my son, too. Thank you, Victoria. I did hear that The Wonder Years is on Hulu. I had not checked it out yet. I'm curious to know, did they pay for the music? Did they pay for the original music? Because Netflix did not when The Wonder Years was on Netflix. They didn't pay for that music. And so it was weird. Like the, 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 um, the opening credits, it's not the right song. And all throughout the movie, it's not uh, right all throughout the show, it's not the, uh, the right songs. So I'm curious to know if Hulu paid for those. If not, then One of Yours is on DVD. It came out a few years ago, and they did pay for the music. So all the music is right. Your son's worst subject right now is math, sixth grade. Check out um, a book I wrote called Kiss My Math. Kiss My Math really tackles pre-algebra, makes it fun. The whole thing that I, I have a degree in mathematics, I love math. I love making math fun for kids. If you go to mckellarmath.com, mckellarmath.com, then um, you'll see all my books, ages 0 to 16. So, uh, I did eat some of the cookies. Yeah, I did. I did. Now, they're mostly sweetened with honey, and I use whole wheat pastry flour instead of white flour. But they're, I mean, there's butter. It's, they're cookies. I mean, come on, they're cookies. <laughs> It's Christmas, so it's okay, right? Well, it's not really Christmas. It's December. Thank you, Annie. You bought my books for the library? Thank you so much, TMH. You know what? That really makes me happy. I love the idea of getting my books into the hands of more kids who might not always necessarily have the opportunity for that. So if you if you have the opportunity to, if you don't have kids yourself to buy my McKellar Math books for, yes, um, buying them and donating them to the library makes me very, very happy. And by the way, thank you so much to you guys who are sending me pictures of your kids with my books. I love that. Because now I have toddler books like Bath Time, Math Time, and Good Night Numbers, and, and Ten Magic Butterflies. And when I see pictures of little kids with those books, it makes me so happy. The latest book I came out was, um, well, two of them, Bath Time, Math Time in June, and also in June, a book called Do Not Open This Math Book. Do Not Open This Math Book is the book for ages six to eight, and it teaches addition and subtraction in that new way that they're teaching now with Common Core, which is like different. It looks different, and I had to study up to learn what it was. But I have like all these really fun ways of learning them. I'll have like a side by side. Here's how we learned it. Here's how they're learning it now. And there's a fun character named Mr. Mouse in the book that um, is afraid of math. That's why it's called Do Not Open This Math Book. He really doesn't want you to open the book. But of course you do. Because if I've got an eight-year-old and I know if you tell them not to do something, that makes it sort of irresistible. So yeah, do not open this math book. But they're all they're all at mckellarmouth.com. Anyway, um, I should go. You guys, thank you so much for being with me. Put on the Christmas music. Put on your apron, make some Christmas cookies, light a scented candle that smells good, put on a Hallmark Channel or Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Um, these are things you can do to jumpstart your Christmas spirit, especially if you've got kids. But even if you don't have kids, just do it for you. Do it for you. Um, and while you're at it, maybe get some exercise too, because you know what? Endorphins always make everything better. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the Dana Cam. You are the D Squad. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you for all your follows and your shares. 
You guys are amazing and have a wonderful week. And um, I will see you right here next week on the Danny Cam. Bye. Mwah.